Hi, Dr. Dave Hindmarsh. In this video, we're going to look at uh, using how using the auto filing can then do two functions. One, how it can help with searches and two, how it can then be used for protocols. And what we're going to be clever about is that we're going to combine the two to make a really cool automatic pre-diabetic um, protocol. That will so I'm in the searches here on system one. And as you can see, I've got my little pre-diabetes and diabetic sort of folder, which I've made just to try and keep things all nice and safe. So as with any searches, make sure you break it down. But I'm going to show you um, the sort of what I call a couple of ways you can search for the actual specific blood result itself. So in this one, we are looking at, we're trying to do a protocol to find out about people with really low HbA1c's. So let's amend this protocol and I'll show you where it is. So when you open up your search, it's in the clinical function and you'll see these pathology radiology reports, okay? Now, first thing to do is to make sure that you adjust the arrived. So the arrived is, I always like to have relative and I've set it as the 1st of January one because there's not many blood results that come over that time. So you're not gonna miss anyone coming through, okay? So it sort of pushes forward at that point. And then content contains specific numeric. And this is where you need to be, you need to look at what your web eyes comes in and find the specific recode. So ours is capital X, A, capital P, uh, B, T. Haven't got a clue why, it just is. And then you're looking for this one less than 48. So this was a search that we were building up to look for patients who have got a low HbA1c. And then we combine that search with who were diabetic on medications to try and sort of suss that out. Okay. So the with this one, so this is the, we're looking, we're gonna start building up our pre-diabetic uh, template, okay? So having a look at this one, so we're still in clinical, we're on pathology filing resorts, we've got arrived after the 1st of January, so we're finding that way, excellent. Report type pathology, and then we're going down further. Content of the report contains numeric, and again, we're still using the HbA1c, and then we can choose between and then we've gone for our pre-diabetic range so between that 42 and 47 absolutely marvelous thank you very much but you think to yourself well hang on a second that's going to miss our that's going to capture people who are already diabetic and have actually controlled their diabetes or are on medication and brought it down okay so we need to bring some variables and there's a risk that it'll capture people who we already know are pre-diabetic so we need to do some combinations so all we've got here is that we've got Another search that looks for patients with specific coded entries for those relating to prediabetes, happy days. And then also we've got ones who are diabetic, coded entries containing these. And then what we've done is basically we've combined the two to sort of um, get a report that shows that you're on neither of them. Okay, so what we've done is we've combined the pre-diabetes, the a diabetic code and the pre-diabetes code, and at the bottom we put join to, uh, to two reports, and basically we want anyone outside of these two searches. Happy days. And then finally, we've got then, we've combined, uh, we've done the com combination again to basically go the not coded pre-diabetic and the HbA1c in that range, and basically we want who's in between those two reports, okay? So we've got the little Venn diagram that crosses over. So they're not in the pre-diabetic range and they are not in that report. So we're getting the ones that we want. We can run the search and then we can combine that rather cleverly with our protocols, okay? So let's go over to protocols and I'll show you what you mean, okay? So you can tackle this a couple of ways. Okay. We can use this then for our protocols and how we're going to sort of push those. So on setup, workflow support, protocols, <clears throat> I'm going to find our pre-diabetic one. And I've got our pre-diabetic pre one here, okay? So pre-diabetic one, I'm going to show you what I've done here. Now, because I've got the search on the trigger, I've basically, as soon as that record received... Okay, and then the filter is when only applies to patients in that report. And that's the one really, really good way of doing it. So they're only on that report and we've already done the search for it. You can though be clever about it. And then with the design of this, all I've done is sort of shown, right. So the first question is, do you want to launch the prediabetes template? 
Yes. Do you want to generate a letter to send to the patient? Yes. And then uh, do you want to add an annual recall? Yes. And then the actions off the back of those is that it will launch the Arden's pre-diabetic template. Quick action button. Thank you very much. Love it. Uh, sets an automatic word template which communicates to the letter saying you're pre-diabetic. You know, contact us if you want some dietary advice or to be referred to local services. And then the last one adds a recall and then we search on those recalls to make sure that that happens. Finally, we just add that um, you know the pre-diabetes uh, onto the onto the actual notes themselves, so we don't sort of constantly research them. We can add them as a diagnosis as well. Off the back of the letter, if we do we'll sort of agree with it, it will automatically send a task to the secretaries to say, please send this letter, so we don't have to remember to do that. Remember, black box thinking, make the system work so the person doesn't have to when we don't make any mistakes. So let's go on to a new protocol. Okay, and the other bit that you can do is on filters. Sorry, it's trigger. Yeah, that's it. So the brilliant thing what you can do on um, is that you can trigger it off certain reports. Okay, so trigger on when, and it's again, there's a bit where it says pathology. Okay, and you can sp specify it. And again, that will allow us then to sort of trigger whatever report we want, okay? So, I didn't put in the correct code from that way, um, but it sort of shows you, demonstrates what we can do from that point. Very quick video on it. I hope that sort of helps and gives you a bit more insight. If you want to have a bit more of a chat through, please let me know, and we can take it from there.